How's it going guys? It's Jason here and today I have a very special video. I have a connection down at Team Coach and they have given me the designs for the 2017 Team Coach Star and Magic Wildcards. I'm so excited to show you these guys so here they are. Alright so I don't have any connections but I have put together a video of previous years and this year's cards and going to do some predictions for the 2017 Team Coach cards. So stick around and I hope you enjoy the video. Alright guys, so every year Team Coach release a super rare variant of the Star and Magic wildcards where the Premiership team will get a Premiership Cup printed on the corner of the wildcard. These variants are super rare and uh, can be printed in quantities as low as 50. Hawks won the Premiership in 2015, and as a result, their 2016 Jordan Lewis Star Wildcard has the super rare variant. Now, as the Bulldogs won the Premiership in 2016, their 2017 Star Wildcard will get the super rare Premiership Cup variant. And if you check out my previous video titled Western Bulldogs 2016 Premiers, the link's in the description, I'm hoping Marcus Bontempelli will be the Doggies 2017 Star Wild card and he will look pretty awesome with the Premiership Cup. Now the other super rare variant that Team Coach release is the Brownlow Medal variant and I was lucky enough to hit the 2016 Nat 5 Brownlow Magic Wild card in a pack this year. For 2016, Patrick Dangerfield won the Brownlow Medal and therefore 2017's super rare Brownlow Wild card will be Patrick Dangerfield. But, as Paddy was the 2016 Magic Wildcard for the Cats, and Team Coach never make the same player a Magic Wildcard two years in a row, Paddy's 2017 Super Rare Brownlow variant will be a Star Wildcard. This is pretty funny though, as Paddy was a previous Star Wildcard only two years ago in 2014. But, I'm still looking forward to seeing him as a Star Wildcard with the Brownlow medal. Let's have a look at the specials cards for 2015 and 2016. I go for the Bombers, uh, so we'll use these cards for the review. Probably my favourite special cards, not including the Star and Magic Wild cards and prize cards, are the 2016 BNF cards. They used a similar design for the 2015 Captain's cards. I really like them and I hope they bring them back a uh, similar design next year, but use it as a Captain's card like they did in 2015. 2016 saw the first year of the footy power cards, which were pretty cool. However, instead of these cards for 2017, I'd like to see uh, for the BNF players, best and fairest players, but instead of a cartoon card like in uh, the 2015 BNF cards, I'd really like them to bring back the 3D BNF cards uh, with a 3D effect similar to the Magic Wild cards. The footy flicks cards look awesome and have improved the animation effects from 2015 to 2016. I hope they continue these cards into 2017 series. We saw an increase in the amount of pop-up cards in the 2016 series with three normal pop-ups and one glow pop-up from just two standard pop-up cards in 2015 per team. These cards are probably my least favorite design for the special cards, but understand the necessity of them using them with the board game that comes with the folder. Although I have not played the board game, uh, I'd like to get your thoughts, so leave a comment and let us know if you've played the board game and if you liked it. Also, uh, let us know with which special cards are your favourite and what changes you think Team Coach should make to their 2017 series. The star wild cards for the Bombers over the last five years have been Joe Watson in 2012, Michael Hurley in 2013, Jake Carlisle in 2014, Dyson Heppel in 2015, and Cal Hooker in 2016. So for 2017, I'd like the team coach star wildcard to be Zach Merritt. Zach Merritt stepped up this year for the Bombers playing the whole season in the midfield. He was awarded the Bombers best and fairest for 2016, averaging 30 disposals a game for the year, breaking Job Watson's club record. With only just turning 21 years old, there's a lot of exciting footy left for this young star. Happy birthday, Zachy. Now, for the Bombers Magic Wildcards over the last five years, we've had Dyson Heppel in 2012, 
David Zaharakis in 2013, Job Watson in 2014, Brendan Goddard in 2015, and Joe Danaher in 2016. So I'd like the 2017 Bombers Magic Wildcard to be Darcy Parrish. Darcy Parrish was drafted in 2015 with the Bombers, and with a lot of the senior list out in 2016 due to the supplement saga, he was able to play 20 games in the senior team, giving him some really valuable experience. He's an exciting midfielder, and I look forward to seeing him further develop his skills in 2017. The prize cards for the Bombers in 2015 were Joe Danaher, Dyson Heppel, and David Zaharakis, and in 2016 were Kale Hooker, Michael Hurley, and Zach Merritt. So I'm hoping the 2017 Bomber prize cards will be Zach Merritt, again, because I think he's going to have another ripping season, Joe Watson, because he's a champion, Brownlow medalist, and I think this will be his last year, signing a one-year contract with the Bombers, and Dyson Heppel to round off an awesome midfield Bombers prize card set. So uh, post a comment in this video, let us know what team you go for and which players you'd like to see as your team's star wildcard, magic wildcard and prize cards for 2017. Also, let us know what you think of the star and magic wildcards and prize cards will look like in 2017. I really like the 3D effects on the magic wildcards and I'm also a fan of the embossed shiny star wildcards. I'm not the biggest fan of the oval shaped prize cards, but they do look good displayed as a set. That, I've, um, that I have in another video on my channel and I've put the link in the description. I'm really looking forward to seeing what Team Coach come up with with their 2017 designs. If you want to check out which players your team's Star and Magic wildcards and prize cards were in 2015 and 2016, check out the videos of these sets. The links are in the description. Looking forward to hearing your thoughts. Also, Team Coach are asking for your help to de uh, decide what color all the artwork on the packets, folders, and boxes should be. So go onto their website, teamcoach.com.au, and let them know. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video, and uh, I'll post some more videos soon. Thanks, guys. See ya.